we rolling? We are. Oh, we are. Hello, everybody. I'm Chris Solds. This is Brian Hornbeck, and we're here with a rather... It's not really a beginning, because we've done this before, <laughs> this is, but... This is the third beginning. The third beginning. Marvel Beginnings Series 3 I from Upper I Deck. I we're going to rip it today on Box Busters. Sweet. I can't wait. There's 24 packs. Poco packs. But what's, what are the hit type of stuff? Oh, you know. Stuff? What, so, what, many, you uh, say? so many of the uh, comic book releases... Sketch cards are very popular. Here, here's my toothpick. Uh, Cut me, Lou. There's some artist autographs in there as well. Mr. Stanley himself has signed a handful of cards, among other great artists. Tom DeFalco I saw there, Chris Claremont. But um, it's, a, like I said, Series 3. It's a huge base set. This is going to bring the entire set to 540 mm -hmm. cards, which who knew there were that many characters in the Marvel Universe? It's but a big universe. It's been around a while. Uh, we're making characters nonstop. Uh, there's some fun inserts as well. There's some holograms Ooh. again, and uh, some die cut That's villain cool. cards. And Basically, there, there are hits. There's uh, autographs every other box and sketches every other box, so we should get something, apparently. It works out to about one per box. And there are holograms, as you're saying, mm -hmm. and some other inserts. Here's one that's, I don't know what this is called. We call those Prime. Really? Prime uh, microfoil, I believe. Okay, okay. It's got, it's got kind of an etched surface, kind of like uh, old Skybox metal. Kind of, kind of. This is the War Machine from Iron War Man. War Machine. There's a... Um, I think these work out what they call breakthrough issues, about one per pack. They That's highlight cool. some famous Marvel issues. Here's the first uh, Spider-Man from the new series done by Todd McFarlane. Oh, pretty, yeah. Pretty cool stuff. I've got that one. It was hugely popular when that came out. Here's one that's not as new. It's X-Men number, let's see, number three, volume Ooh. one. So this is the first appearance of Blob. 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 I wonder, Blob. If, he, I wonder if there was a gymnast tattoo in that, on that issue. I don't know. Here's uh, one of these villain oh, die cuts. reference. Oh, whatever, get out of here. Villain <laughs> die cuts. Victor Von Doom, a.k.a. Dr. Doom. Man, he's a weird. I can't. I don't know if I can handle oh, I kind of dig Dr. He's, Doom. He's incredibly... Well, I, although I take Dr. Doom over this guy. It's a cool card. Very cool, detailed, etched foil, but... Uh, they, like, what the, what's... I think new they warriors? about him in health class back in high school. Yeah. <laughs> Speedball. <laughs> For the drug fans, right? Right. They had to get some. I mean, his his origin probably was he was probably a down and out kid. Probably. Who, if this came out in the seventies, especially. Yeah. Tracking down <laughs> drug dealers. <laughs> Here's hood. And these cards. He wears a. There hood. you go. He's a, he's he's from the hood. Where's he's the hood? Eating good in the neighborhood. <laughs> um, can't think of any others at the minute. They'll come to me as we. He's as giving we me some. It. Oh, never mind. X Men number one seventy two. Editor Jim Shooter. Cover artist Paul Smith, Chris Claremont, writer. I like this kind of detail. I was gonna mm -hmm. let's see. Well, oh yeah, Wolverine getting married to Mariko. I think that's uh, like gonna be involved in one of the upcoming movies, if I remember sweet. right. And uh, yeah, to uh, oh yeah, I forgot about this. When but, the art, when the artists, uh, the artist autographs we spoke of, they'll be on one of these little those breakthrough cards? issues. So okay. it'll be the artist that actually drew that cover, whichever one it might be. I remember this from the previous series we ripped. I think I was filming it, but not talking it. Kingpin. This is really cool. Each back of the character card, like I don't know if we've shown any base cards yet. No, not really. There's a base card, and then on the back it shows the cover of their first comic. First, first appearance right there. I really like that. That's a great touch. It's, that really it's gets a, you involved with the history of it. It lets you go get the comic book, mm -hmm, too. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's your visual checklist, you know. Go get that issue right here. Here's what it looks Complete like. With the writer and the artist. And yep. That. Kind of like stats, but they're really not really stats. Oh, technically, sure. Uh oh. Did you let me do me? the? Let me do the. Oh my god. A magneto card. Oh, I got you. I was trying to make it move, but it's not metal, so I failed. <laughs> don't but have, if it's a you chess don't, piece, you don't have a paper magnet. Uh, yeah. Maybe the gold foil is enough. I don't know. <laughs> or I'm just not a mutant, right? Here's someone. Uh, I'm oh, guessing cool. this is Mr. Fantastic's kid. Probably after I oh, stopped reading. Geez. Franklin Richards. That's the thing. That universe keeps getting bigger. Right, right, I, right. I haven't actively collected comics probably since the, the boom years of the early sure, 90s. Sure. I've picked stuff up here and there mostly because it's dirt cheap. Ow! Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Here's, a, yeah, here's something different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a Fantastic Four issue one, but this is a relaunch from 2011. Hmm. I didn't eat. Yeah, they, they keep relaunching issues. Right? Yeah, they're not, Titles, they're, but they're not in blue, and it doesn't even say Fantastic Four. I, was, just I thought I said it wrong. Yeah, yeah but it is new, them. It's a new group called... Yeah. Look at it. Hey, look, it's Psylocke, the brother of Captain... Or the sister of Captain Britain. Right. 
Right there's the issue of Captain Britain where she made her debut. Oh, my. A UK comic book, which right. was released weekly, yeah. and actually came out on October... Uh, Come on, you can do it. Uh, you can do it. 11th, 1976, two days after my birthday. That's the reason I own that issue, and that's the reason that became my favorite character. And the cameraman is shocked that I'm going off on this spiel. <laughs> Continue, but there you go. Get that and I do have that first issue. It, it was a big, oversized magazine yeah. printed on paper. That real and it's from Britain. Yeah, yeah. Cost me a bunch of money to get in mint condition. Here's Groot. I'm but gonna throw out like people it. I don't know anything about. Groot. Yeah. Well, sound effects, <laughs> just random sounds. Here's Spider Man, who I'm kind of sick hey, of. I know, I know who that is. How many movies have we had in ten years? Oh, four. Twelve. How many different guys title? playing them? I can't remember. I don't think I saw that last one. No, Wasn't I haven't either. Good? It's on DVD, but I haven't sprung yeah, yet. Yeah, I haven't gotten around to it. Here's a character I liked in the comics back in the day because of how he was drawn and how he looked. Yeah, yeah. But in the movie, it wasn't really that cool. Yeah, but in the comic books, he's one of the most popular characters. Deadpool. Yep. Right now. No yeah. doubt. His first issues and his key issues and, you know, money makers. There's they used to be. Hey, there's the new Mutants, number one. I've got that. Yeah, that was a big one, too. I think it's in my parents' house somewhere. Most of that stuff's still there. I gotta go pick those up sometime. That's a long shot. I mean, this is a long shot right there. Oh yeah, long shot. You jackal. <laughs> you, no, no, be mad. You know, mad. <laughs> well, I got a pack of all kinds of characters here. Whew. I'm guessing it's not a typo. It just looks like one. I got Hogan. That's so it's not like Hulk. Right? <laughs> so it's not a Shogun. It's yeah. just a Hogan. How about the Stepford Cuckoos, who I've never heard of, but it's kind of a fun... Uh, How about the Stepford Cuckoos? My gosh. Celeste, Esby, Mindy, Phoebe, and Sophie. First appearance in the uh, new X-Men 118 from November 2001. I should know these characters. Right? They've been around for a decade right. That's plus. That's right? Come on. No, I have no clue. Okay, me neither. Thousands of Emma Frost clones were created by the Weapons Plus program, and only five emerged as exceptional. Oh there they are, and they're all dressed up as Catholic schoolgirls. That's why I noticed. Do we know that why they're called cuckoos? Uh, they must be crazy, man. <laughs> You're there. They chirp every hour. I don't know. I don't know either. Hey, X awesome. Factor number one. I don't have that one. I hope I didn't miss an autograph. You interested? I'm I think this is the these. first parent of Saber Tooth and Iron Fist number fourteen. That's cool. I, I really like the, the whole tie it back to the comic thing mm -hmm. here. It's much cooler than just, like back in the day they would tell you the issue, but they never showed you the issue. Mm, right, right. You know, so right. you kind of had a mystery of trying to figure out what you this had. This guy usually has pretty bad breath. This is Onion Jack. Nice. He's a bit character from the Captain Britain era. I don't think they are related or anything. Oh. Brothers by another mother. There you go. Hey, it's Mystique. I've seen her in a movie or two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you could name her debut comic, I think we'll give you a box of cards. What do you think? Okay, like show the box. I'll like tell you think. Mystique. According to the back of this card, her first appearance was in, ooh, it's a 1978 comic. If you can name okay. that comic, we're going to give you a box of cards. Man, that is so... Well, of all the people who ran... Uh, if it, well, how do we do this? Uh, I'll, let's, do it, let's do it the hard way. The first person to answer it correct in the comments gets the box. Oh my gosh, so... Yeah. Mystique, first appearance. So pause this video and go start typing. Do it now. Because <laughs> you know you know it. I don't even know, but I, that's that's what threw me off. Is it's kind of an odd title, right? Right. I would have so, never guessed yeah, that. That's so. not the most obvious one, but that's pretty cool. I like. It. Okay, here's a. Oh, I remember that issue. Yeah. That's cool. Here's the hero for Haya in Cage. I never liked him. What? Yeah, they didn't do a good job of using some of those ancillary characters. How are we in Iron Fist? Was, yeah, he was related. He was an Avenger at some point, probably. Oh, maybe ultimately. I don't know. I yeah, don't know. I don't. Didn't they all just kind of tag team? Ultimately? True. Hey, there he is again. But this is his. See, I remember those. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Right That's pretty cool. <laughs> How about the debut of Wolverine? This is an expensive comic yeah, book. That is. Incredible Hulk number one eighty one. Oops. Got sliding cards all over the place sliding. today. Uh oh, Emma Frost put the kids to bed. This card's a little racy. Oh my gosh. So is this one. Shocker. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> it's sad I don't know who some of these characters are. Right? Been well, again, decades. We mentioned it at the beginning with 540 cards available. Yep. There's probably going to be at least a few that some of them. I tend to lean toward the X Men away from the Avenger Galactic kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure there's plenty I'm not into. Even Captain America and Red Skull didn't do much for me. Yeah. I watched the movie recently. Kind of boring. It was all right. It wasn't my favorite. Yeah. 
And another thing I didn't point out, or neither one of us did, um, on each card, it's fun because you see like an artist running. It's like current day one. And then mm. there's a little uh, snippet from one of their early appearances in a comic really? book. If you look at some cool. of these in the corner of each one. I didn't even notice that. Yeah. I mean, I noticed the art there, but I wasn't really thinking it about why it took me a while to realize it's probably one of their earliest appearances for yeah. those characters with that. So yeah, it's yeah. Good looking card. That is man. cool. Now that you point that out, like this one really stands out. Old school Daredevil, new school Daredevil. Yeah. And you can see how they've evolved on a lot of these games. Mm -hmm. Silver Sable. Silver Sable. How about X-Men number 137? I think this is a Phoenix. Yeah, the death of Jean Grey, uh, which was, the, in essence, the birth of Phoenix the birth coming. Of Phoenix. And here's a, might not recognize him from the cover, but that is the first appearance of the Human Torch. There you go. Back before he became the guy who became Captain America? Uh, no, a different Human Torch. <laughs> no. From well, Fantastic Four? Well, yeah, I'm saying the movies. The dude who played the Human oh, Torch in the yeah, movies yeah, went on to become Captain America. Went over my head. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I got you now. Because speaking of Captain America, Steve Rogers. Steve I don't Rogers. like him with his regular name. That kind of throws me yeah. off. Uh oh, final nice pack. pack. Man, I hope we got a good one. Mr. Sinister. Mr. Sinister. Dr. Octopus. Cool card for issue. Expensive book. Is Fantastic number Four number one. No pricey 10 cent issue. Oh, there we go. Sketch <gasps> oh, card. Oh, well, that's a sharp looking card. Havoc. Too. That is. That's a nice one. Man, that's. Good buy. Why don't you share it with everybody? Do I have to? <laughs> just flash them. Just flash them. No way, dude. That's not cool. It doesn't say the artist or anything on the back. There, it is signed, but it's hard to tell. But, yeah, I Havoc, who is the brother of Cyclops. Make some room for I think. I should know. I got, hey, final pack, man. Yeah. We did well. That's, what That's a cool card. That's I didn't even you, notice that we hadn't pulled that. That's how you end so. strong. Let me see real quick. The drama. We let them. Adriana? I don't know. I have to look that one up. We'll That's find out. That's a very advanced sketch there. That is the, pretty. The white ink use and yes. the... Uh, Several yeah. colors. That's a that's a high end sketch. That's pretty, pretty. That's pretty. a box winner there. That made if, the box right there. That but if fun. you want to be a box winner, Again, tell us. Refresh. In case you haven't already. In case you haven't you paused. Mean, fill yeah. it out. In case it's not already it. gone, but right. I'm sure it is. Mystique. What issue did she make her debut? And here's a hint. It's in 1978. That's how you get. I would I would never have guessed that. So somebody's gonna guess it and get the first person to leave the cool. comment saying it wins the box. As long as you include your email so we can actually contact you <laughs> to actually mail it to you. So you, you couple guys that just forgot it, go yeah, just do it again. There you go. So there you go. So, so overall it was fun. It's a continuation of a really good looking product, man. I mean even the base cards are fun to look at, a lot of fun inserts. Some yeah. fun hits. Look at that. I mean, these in the past for products like this, the actual comic book cover cards may not have been as popular, mm -hmm. but I kind of like it. It I just adds it adds that next dimension to the uh, to the product. It gives it that little bit of retro poke, you yep. know, compared to the. Yeah, because I remember I forms. remember these a lot more than I remember some of the other characters. Sure. So the ones I've missed out on, it actually helps people like me. So yeah, overall, good stuff. Yeah, good cool. cooperative. Nice All right. Well, until next time, I'm Chris. I'm Brian. Just keep ripping.